Hi everyone, it's Caleb here. Um, today I'm going to be reacting to Dimash and Lee Yugang singing Drunken Concubine and the Diva Dance. Um, a bunch of people have recommended it since I put out that other video a few days ago, so I thought I'd just jump in and do it. Um, just before I react to this as well, um, check out the pinned comment uh, where I'm going to have links for the pre-saves and pre-orders for my EP. Uh, if you're into my music and you like my singing, it really helps when you actually pre-save it or pre-order it uh, because when it goes live, it, it gives it like a, a jump and a boost in terms of the amounts of plays and buys, which kind of helps other people hear it. So if you're into that, uh, please do that. Check out that uh, the top comment. Anyway, let's get into this. Uh, let's just get straight into it. Let's do it. Just how cool is that background just before we begin? Very kind of a traditional Chinese feel to it so far. <laughs> Yeah, that was really cool. I like how Dimash has that more kind of broad warm lyrical tone a little bit more legato which means more uh smooth and the and the phrases kind of blend together better um where the other singer lee he's got more of a dainty short very punchy and tight sound i can't even describe it but lots of little mouth resonances which seems to be a very common thing with chinese singing and it's just really cool. I loved both of them, but they were just both very different. So great kind of dynamic there. Ah. Ah, here we go, David Dance. Okay, I'm gonna go back to it. How cool is that deep, low growl voice that he does? He also did that in Ascolta La Voce, I might have said that wrong, um, where he does a similar thing, that kind of um, similar technique used in death metal and those kind of genres. So yeah, really cool. <laughs> So he hit a pretty crazy whistle voice note. Yeah, is that an F sharp? I think I think it was that note. I might need to listen to it again. Uh, wow. So that is really, really high pitch. Wait, l let me do that right now. I don't want to get that wrong. Let's listen to that. Yeah, so I guess that's in the seventh octave, is it? F sharp, that is. Or is that in the sixth? That's so high, I don't even know. Yeah, crazy high, far out. Um, I didn't expect him to do that. And um, Lee has a much less um, operatic, kind of thick sounding high flagellate, but it's still very accurate. Um, it almost sounds like he's pitch, it pitch corrected a bit. Like it's like, I'm not saying he is, but it sounds so straight tone. It almost sounds like that, but I'm not sure about that. But, but yeah, 
where Dimash sounds much more operatic in his kind of delivery. Let's keep watching. That was so cool. It's so cool to hear like a uh, extended version of the diva dance with, you know, a different song at the beginning and, and then that whole coda section, that whole ending uh, was just really epic. And to hear him hit that, that high F sharp in whistle was, was just crazy. So yeah, um, I wasn't expecting it to go in that direction. And I almost thought that I didn't know who Lee was going to be, and he was a really quirky, interesting guy. So in the comments, let me know who he was, uh, what this event was. It seemed to be something in China, but other than that, I don't really know. And yeah, I'm just kind of sitting with it because it was a lot more than I thought it would be in a really good way. And Lee's singing was so interesting and unusual, but it worked really well. I like that kind of quirky stuff. So yeah. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this reaction. Sorry, I was just a bit lost for words. I don't know how to kind of, yeah, even react to it. It was really impressive. So uh, in the comments, let me know uh, about, yeah, Lee and Dimash and just that whole thing, what, what it was. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Thanks, guys.